This is the KDFGF channel. On today's video, I want to show you how to replace the dash on the Lexus IS 250 and 350 from 2006 to 2012. In my case, you see I have the sticky dash. It's very annoying to see this in your dash. Look how I remove it with my nail. It's horrible. But luckily, I found another one on a young yard for only 150 bucks. So I will show you all the process on how to disassemble and put the new one. These are, are some of the tools I use for, for doing this job. I like using power tools, obviously, because it's faster. But you can use whatever you have. Uh, this is a hex screwdriver. I have a set of metric sockets. You will be using most of the time the 10, 10 millimeters and the 12 millimeters. Uh, I have some flat screwdrivers and I have some of these hooks. I use them a lot to, to remove the clips from the connections, electrical connections, some, some pliers and that's it. Basically, uh, you don't need a lot of tools for performing this job. Also, I wanna explain that I didn't show you how to remove the center console because there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do it and uh, I don't wanna make the video too long because it will be boring. I will go straight to the point. Okay, the first part will be removing this plastic cover right here. It's a black plastic cover and you can see it has the the OBD2 connector and a little LED light. So I will remove this bolt and this one right here. You need to know, know for this first cover, you have the OBD2 connector right here and uh, you have to move these little hooks from this part. You also have this little connection also attached in here and uh, the little connector of the LED light, right? And those are the only three things you need to remove and also on this little plastic piece you have this metal right here hooked in that, in that plastic so you have to be careful don't pull it immediately after you take the bolts you first have to see what you can break or not the next part I'm going to remove is this plastic cover right here which I think it's pretty easy yeah that's it now I'm going to remove this part right here and um, I think this only has clips. You just, boom, unhook it like this. You see? Easy, no bolts. Now, what you have to do is remove all the connections and uh, we'll be ready for the next part. Okay, I already removed this piece right here. Look at it. So basically, I just had to remove all the connectors. The next part I want you to do is the behind this, there's a ABS system. So you ha only have to remove these 10 millimeter bolts right there. You got four. One, two, three, and four. Once you remove the four bolts, you will have this that opens the hood and uh, this connection right here for the ABS. You will use uh, the hook I told you in the beginning and you're gonna and you're gonna pull this little plastic right here. It's like a, a little safe for this connection. Remember I told you about the ABS system? Well, this yellow plastic thing is what you have to pull up because it's a, like a little lock once you pull it up then you're able to remove the connector the first ABS system is out 
I already removed the connection right here and I already removed the the hood lock or whatever it opens the hood this part is a little difficult and uh, I've been deciding what I'm gonna do but basically uh, I saw on the Lexus forum they removed the steering wheel some guy that did the same the same job but in pictures but I think I will remove these four bolts right here and maybe the steering wheel column will drop and it will be easier because I don't like messing with the with the steering wheel and the, the airbag the airbag clock and that stuff so what I did is this cover goes right here right you have one bolt here another bolt here and uh, this one down here so when you see it this way the bolts were right there right there and right there sorry for the for the back quality of the video but I'm trying to do my best then for removing the upper cover this one right here you have to remove this this vessel you have only two bolts that obviously goes down there and this one there too so I'm, I'm gonna remove this this bolt right here because obviously I got the tools I don't know um, maybe you can do it uh, with a regular wrench but maybe it's a little harder but I will show you what happens later I hope it works guys as you can see here it worked um, I only removed four bolts and I had the whole steering column down it's it let me tell you it's easier you don't want to mess with uh, removing the steering wheel and uh, you also have to remove this uh, spring that was right there it goes here this little spring is also um, holding the maybe this is the brake oh yeah that's the brake and uh, from here it's, everything should be easier we have a lot of work to do but I like that, that this worked next thing I'm going to remove is this uh, band right here which is I think is easier just pull it out there you go you have a little connection and this one is out another one out Pretty remove the cluster right here and um, it took me a while thinking how to remove it but you can see right here these little tabs right you just have to, to press up look look at this you press up both of them and this one right here too and uh, the cluster will come out easily so break anything well uh, I learned how to remove it because when I went uh, to the young yard to remove the, the replacement for this one I broke a lot of stuff and also I was learning so Hopefully you can learn from this and uh, you will have success in removing your your dash Next step I decided to do is to remove the push start button and the connection is right here. You have a lot of room to work and uh, That's it I'm on the other side of the car since you see uh, We're almost done over there. So I'm gonna start removing this plastic piece like I did on the other side just have to pull it out easy then I'm going to remove the the band right here it also comes with a connector okay the next step is to remove this plastic cover down here you just do this and it's gone now it's easy because we have another ABS system I believe right there so you remove this one two and three bolts right there and uh, it should come off I remove already the second airbag system I have somebody to hold the phone for me so I can show you how to how to take this piece apart okay I have somebody to hold the phone while I'm doing this so what I'm gonna do is pull this up like this you see and the connection comes out like this there you go 
Okay, this part is out too. That's another airbag system. So the next step will be taking out the globe compartment. The uh, globe compartment, you have five bolts. You have this one right here. You have that one. And when you open it, you have one, two, three. Once you take those bolts out, you're done. I already removed the whole globe compartment and I see my air filter is very dirty, so I will replace it. You should do the same because since you have everything uh, disassembled, it's a good idea. To remove is this blue box right here which I think is related with the ABS system. So it's still uh, 10 millimeters uh, bolts. So that's the next step. And I'm also going to remove this, uh, this connection, which I think I don't need, but I will do it anyway. Hey guys, I already removed the, the blue box I told you. And yes, you have to remove it because it was hiding this bolt right here which you need to remove for taking apart the, the dash because the ABS system, it's attached to the dash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start removing all the connections related to it. And then these two bolts, this is uh, 12 millimeters. I have everything out of the way. And basically you have to remove these bolts right there, which I think there are nine, one, two, I removed these two earlier. You have to remove them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I think the dash should start coming off. You will have a lot of connections inside still that you have to remove, but from this step, I mean, you already have a lot of knowledge on how to do this. Um, and I think it will come off easily. So I will show you once it's off also that you have to remove the side panels I found out right now before removing the, the dash there you are so I'm gonna start pulling the dash as you see here look it's moving it's moving a lot it just has like a little clips behind it this this little things you see right there that's where the, the dash clips but it's already off I will show you a video once the dash is off. Guys, you might be mad at me right now, but you also have to remove this resistance right here. Maybe it's uh, related with the climate control. This you will also have to remove. And um, like I said, like pretty much a bunch of other connections that will bother you to uh, finally remove the, the dash. So as I promised, there you go. This is the video. It looks scary. But yeah, it is. It is scary. I hope when I put the when I put back the new dash, um, I do everything correctly. And also, I have this video, so I will upload it and uh, I will watch the video while I'm putting it back together. I hope it helps. This is the this is the final product. Uh, obviously, I changed the seats because I found them also in the junkyard, brand new. Well, almost brand new. I found a new carpet too from the Donor Lexus. And this is the dash, I told you, I paid 150 bucks. No sticky, it feels, feels great. I love it, I love the result. Um, I still missing some parts because I still doing some, uh, some cleaning, but this is it. This is how it looks. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoy. I hope it helps you. And uh, let's make our Lexus look nice.